All right, yeah, so let me finish this story. So someone, right, listen. Listen to this story very carefully, right? Someone commented on my vlog being like, um, this is such a random stuff. Right, I'll actually read you the exact comments so I can't even fucking get it wrong because I can't get my head around it. So I wake up in the morning after I just post my new vlog, right? And I've like, had a great time. Uh, all this sort of stuff. And then all of a fucking sudden, there's this comment when I wake up in the morning. And it's like, I couldn't, I, I hope I've not fucking deleted it. There you go, are you ready? True story. This is a comment on my vlog, right? True story. Tom's neighbor opposite with the Land Rover threatened me and was also arguing with his neighbor to the left of his house. One, thing, one thing's for sure. Nobody would believe this story, so I'm glad I recorded him chasing me off in his Land Rover Defender. And then said Black Land Rover at, Lover at, at 14 minutes in the vlog. And if you go to 14 minutes, my neighbor across the road, uh, with that... Oh, shit, what's that? This might be a pickaxe. Oh, shit. Ah, don't worry. All right? So I was like, that is the weirdest, that's the weird, I thought it, yeah, I thought it was my package, but it's not. Um, so I was like, you know, weird that this guy has randomly commented that. So anyway, I replied to him saying like, you know, you, apparently you said you recorded this, inter uh, like this uh, incident with my neighbor. I said, can you t tweet me the video? Anyway, he didn't reply to me or anything like that. And then he replied to my tweet, j just like that I tweeted earlier today, right? And he, and he tweeted, and he, he sent me this saying, what? Right, can you fucking see me, please? Focus, you wee prick. He tweeted a picture outside my house, right, with my uh, in front of, with my neighbour in front of him. So I was like, oh, "What the fuck?" So I replied to him saying, "I said, where's this video? I saw you comment on my vlog. I'm really confused." He said, "I don't use Twitter, and only said uh, it only says upload a, a photo slash gift, mate. Is he a friend of yours or just a neighbour?" So I was like, "I'll just keep it simple. I said he's a neighbour. I'm confused as to what your association with him was." He then replied saying. Um, he was shouting abuse at the old couple, uh, old cop couple opposite your new house, which is my auntie and uncle, right? Uh, so I'm related to them. He said, um, he was shouting abuse at the old couple. So I beeped once at him, basically. I beat once at him and he beat back and shouted a load of stuff at us. Then, then stopped at the bottom of the road, which wouldn't let me go anywhere. So I went left, which you know is a dead end. I didn't know that, but he sure did. So he spun around, blocked me, and started calling me names under the sun. All the names under the sun. Saying he's going to smash my car up with his Land Rover. I left it because he didn't dare get out. Only shouted abusive, th abusive things from his high horse. So I said, I replied saying, I replied saying, can you upload this video to YouTube and send me an unlisted link to it? You know, the whole situation. Because I just said the whole situation baffles me. He then said, yeah, I can do that. I, it will have sound removed. Um, I can also give you the date and time down to the second if you have a minute to check your CCTV. I'm sure you'll see I meant no harm to anyone. Phones are 1% now, so I will upload it later. 25th of September, September half four. So then I just said, I replied saying, can you just keep the audio on it, please? You know what I mean? Just send it me with the audio. Seeing as though we recorded it, that's what I'm trying to listen to what the, you know, my neighbor said and what he said. Then he said, I don't think I can. I openly admitted... I openly admitted to reacting the way I did, but I wouldn't want to implicate myself. Your town is lovely, and if and if he's got beef with the locals, uh, then fair enough. But I simply drove down a public road, and he held up cars to kick off, and then forward his anger towards us. He, he, he then I said I said I'm not sending it to the police. LOL. I wanted to know what happened and what was said. You went out of your way to make sure. Uh, make it make it apparent that you had it recorded. So I I assume that means you would want to share it with me. He then he then he then replied, "What the fuck is this?" What he sent me this? What the fuck? He then replied saying, "Didn't manage to record it at the times when I was driving. It's mainly a video of his face and the car, and the car he was in. As I thought he caught the front wing of the car, but he didn't. I recorded him kicking off, but that would be on your camera." And then, and, and then, and then sent me a picture of him, right? And, of which I didn't see because he didn't reply to that an hour later. Which, for context, I, I can tell you exactly in that mirror, he's driven all the way down to the bottom of my road and taken a left, which is a dead end, of which he was going to like the far, like I spoke to my neighbor about, it, and he drove to that. 
But do you want to know what my biggest takeaway from this whole thing was, right? Just pause completely if my neighbor shouted at them or something like that. He could have literally just been going down the road. You know what I mean? Like, it could have been going around. I don't know where this guy's from. I don't know anything about it. But this guy could have literally just been driving down the road minding his own business. My neighbor was blocking the way. So he beeped and, like, move on. And then he turned around and gave him a load of abuse. You know? Dead simple like that. And then my neighbor did say, like, he went down. He, took, um, he, he went to the farm. And then when he came back on his way up, bumped into the same guy again, which makes sense the way he was coming. But to me, what I take away from that entire situation, like, legit is, don't turn up outside my house. Right? Like, he's got out of his... Even if there was an interaction, it's got nothing to do with me. It's got nothing to do with me. I spoke to my neighbor because I wanted to ask whether or not this guy was being a prick outside the house because I don't know if he's being nice, whether he's, like, trying to take photos of the house or whatever. But I literally make this very apparent. Like, please do not turn up outside my house. I, my neighbors don't need people parking up and blocking the road, like, regardless if he was blocking the road or whatever. Like, I just don't want people turning up outside my house. There is no public invite. There is no public address that I've gone, here it is, please come and join it. You know, like, come, come and see it. People do turn up, and I give them no interaction. I'd give them no time, like, not to be disrespectful. If I bump out to the street or a night out, I'll chat with you unless I'm in a rush. Like, love meeting people, right? I just say, do not turn up outside my house. And I never met this person. I didn't even know they were there. But this backs up again why I say it. It's like, if he just didn't turn up outside my place, outside my house, this wouldn't happen. Makes sense, right? Like, my, like, my take on that, I just... Like, I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm always right, but like, I can't see how my take on that's wrong.